Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Adam Ellis. Is YouTube trying to censor what kind of gaming videos you can watch? Maybe. Some people are saying yes, and that a lot of videos are being unfairly flagged as being for mature audiences only. Yes, it's another YouTube censorship controversy. Surprise! <laughs> and this one involves the platform's restricted mode. The feature is intended to protect children and sensitive viewers, but many say it has resulted in some channels almost entirely being hidden if the option is enabled. And this time, even YouTube has admitted they might have a point. Yeah, the issue was first discovered last week after members of the LGBTQ community discovered that a lot of their videos were hidden by restricted mode algorithm. Uh, that led to others across the platform discovering that their videos too were flagged, and sometimes for very unclear reasons. And it seems like gaming is one of the areas that's being hardest hit. Uh, I mean, we here at The Know and other channels within Rooster Teeth have also found that a lot of our videos are hidden under restricted mode, and there aren't really any explanations for why certain videos are flagged while others are left alone. I mean, Achievement Hunter and Funhouse practically don't exist under restricted mode. <laughs> this has led to cries of censorship, and it hasn't been helped by the fact that YouTube's policies on what content is and isn't restricted are vague, and its enforcement of those policies can seem pretty random. For its part, YouTube says it's working to fix the issue and has apologized, but the controversy doesn't show any signs of ending. All right, well, first let's back up a little bit and explain what restricted mode is. So it's actually been around for a while, since 2010, in fact. According to a YouTube blog, restricted mode is a feature that allows users to screen out potentially objectionable content that you may prefer not to see or don't want others in your family to see. The way it works, YouTube told us, is that there are two ways a video can end up being unavailable when restricted mode is turned on. Yeah, YouTube says it's primarily determined by an automated system that looks at things like the video's metadata, title, and the language used in the video. Also, some videos may not be available in restricted mode as a result of human reviewers applying an age restriction to a video. YouTube added that restricted mode meets an important need for a small subset of users, including institutions like schools and libraries, that want a more restricted experience in the main YouTube app and site. It is an optional feature that users have to turn on. YouTube says that the feature was designed to broadly restrict content across more mature topics, whether these are videos that contain profanity, those that depict images or descriptions of violence, or discussion of certain diseases like addictions and eating disorders. In the case of the LGBTQ content that created the initial stir, YouTube says there's no blanket ban on LGBT content, but that it does restrict videos that discuss more sensitive issues. Although that does end up falling under the why this one and not this one? Why can I not talk about LGBTQ issues while this girl can walk around in her underpants? These are the questions and it gets into why it's, it's not exactly clear or evenly enforced. But lots of YouTubers who make a wide variety of videos, not just LGBTQ, have found their work is being put into restricted mode. Gaming is a big one of those, mm. really big one we're finding. Spin Magazine reported that Zinnia Jones, whose work discusses transgender issues, said most of her channel was blocked. The indie pop duo Tegan and Sarah claim their videos were also hidden within the mode, but it looks like it's been unblocked as of now. Uh, and a lot of gamers have discovered their content is being affected as well. Mark Brown, who runs a channel called Game Maker's Toolkit, told Polygon he can't understand why some of his videos are flagged as restricted. A recent video of his about Zelda Breath of the Wild was hidden in restricted mode, despite the game being pretty darn tame. It's difficult to get more tame than Zelda, it's true. My videos don't contain anything remotely controversial, Brown said, so my best guess is that Restricted Mode has hidden videos about games that have mature or violent content like Doom, Deus Ex, Bioshock, and Hitman. My videos about Nintendo games are all still there. Whether YouTube detects this from the video description or visual content or whatever algorithm it uses to categorize videos for YouTube gaming is anyone's guess. Likewise, Gaijin Goomba, who has 500,000 subscribers, tweeted that his entire channel is undiscoverable if restricted mode is turned on. And he tweeted, I understand that some of my videos were a bit more for adults, but every freaking video? For our part, in the last month, we published 65 updates. That's a lot of which updates. Which is a lot when we actually count it out. Wow. Uh, out of 65, only 33 are still visible in restricted mode. That's not a lot. Uh, and we don't really know why some of those are okay and some aren't. There's no warning available to creators about it. But out of everyone in our little family, we're probably affected the least. You know how many videos on Achievement Hunter's channel from the last year are available in restricted mode? How many? None. And Funhouse? How many? Not none. Six. Oh, Game Funhouse. Attack. There you go. Game, I think Game Attack's going to be the winner here. 29. And the main Rooster Teeth channel? How many? 16. Really, just 16? Just 16. Oh, okay, fine. So what it all comes down to is this. If you see videos on these channels, 
Congratulations, you're probably not restricted and you're not missing out. For most people, that is the case. For others though, that's not the point, it's the censorship that's the issue. All of the controversy peaked over the weekend with the hashtags, hashtag YouTube is over party and hashtag YouTube restricted twending. Twending. Twending on Twitter. They were twending on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, YouTube finally waved the white flag yesterday, basically admitting the system's messed up and it needs fixing. The company said in its creator blog that, we understand that this has been confusing and upsetting and many of you have raised concerns about restricted mode and your content being unfairly impacted. The bottom line is that this feature isn't working the way it should. We're sorry and we're going to fix it. But some people worry that this could be the start of a larger trend censoring all kinds of material from YouTube. Popular YouTuber and friend of the know, Boogie2988, recently discussed the controversy in a video, saying, What concerns me is that one day, if you're not logged in, restricted mode might be the basis. And one day, for the majority of users, it might be an opt out system. So a good portion of YouTube content will disappear. Of course, this has hardly been the first time that YouTube's policies have sparked an uproar from its content creators. And yet, we're all still here. For <laughs> There's a, there's a lot of outrage. <laughs> uh, last year, there was a huge ruckus over policies regarding what content can and can't be monetized for videos. Uh, some popular YouTubers like Philip DeFranco were informed that their videos would no longer be monetized because they had content that wasn't covered by YouTubers' advertiser-friendly guidelines. Others also reported that a number of their videos had also been demonetized for not being advertiser friendly. Those videos range from gameplay to beauty vlogs. That led... Those beauty vlogs are dangerous. <laughs> that led outcries of censorship and fears that YouTube was trying to force out some creators off the platform. Or maybe censorship is a strong word for it since YouTube wasn't stopping people from creating the content. But the lack of monetization options do strongly de-incentivize career YouTubers from creating content they can't earn money on, which is fair. Yeah, so yeah, YouTube, no stranger to pissing off its users. Time will tell what kind of tweaks they make to the restricted mode algorithm, or if they're at the very least clear about communicating what videos are and are not restricted and why, but no doubt that a lot of videos are currently getting caught up in YouTube's net. But how much does this restricted mode controversy ultimately matter when it comes to actual views? YouTube told us that only about 1.5% of its daily views come from people who have restricted mode turned on. So that doesn't sound like a lot. Sure. <laughs> right, which would affect about 74 million views a day okay, across all of YouTube. That's, that's a lot. more. That's a lot of views. Uh, with the platform generating 4.9 billion views per day all in right, total. So sure, compared to billions of views, 74 million doesn't seem like a lot, but at the same time, that's a lot of millions of views that come from restricted viewers, and who's to say how many more videos those users might watch if only they could see them. Yep. If there's one thing to be relieved about, I guess, is that this isn't exactly new. So channels that have been successful aren't going to suddenly disappear from the platform. We've all been operating with videos that are invisible to a segment of the user base already. Yes, numbers aside, look, people are always concerned about censorship, which is a good thing, and any flagging of content, well, Censorship's not a good thing. Being concerned about censorship is a good thing. Uh, and any flagging of content is always going to produce an outcry from YouTube users and its creator base. It's also another layer to the concern over programs like YouTube Heroes, which incentivizes participants to flag videos for sensitive content without really clear guidelines about what that means and what's enforceable, which is why we get all these sort of imbalances. And if a restricted mode ever does become the default mode for watching YouTube videos, this controversy will blow up on a much, much larger scale. What do you think of YouTube's restricted mode policies? Should it be up to YouTube to decide what you can and can't see? So are some videos being unfairly targeted? Let us know in the comments. All of ours. Uh, <laughs> and for all of your YouTube news, why people are currently mad at YouTube, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the know. If there's one thing, if there's one thing to be relieved about, it's, if there's one thing to be relieved about, I guess it's that, it, God damn it. One second, I'm gonna wipe these sweat off my forehead because I'm sweating. Uh, we've uh, we've all operated within the video. We've all operated being. Oh, we've so all been, again. Yeah, we've all been operating with videos that are invisible this to a segment of the user base again. already. Let's scroll.